Hello, tis I again. And I'm not going to lie to you, I straight up looked up how to kill ghosts, because they were getting me down. It's these things, these radiant stones that illuminate dark areas that can be thrown. These stones absorb natural sunlight, exuding a pleasant warmth and light and stuff and shit. These. Apparently, if you throw one of these at them, then they, you, you can see their, their real bodies and then you can kill them. Probably should have tried something like that, but I didn't. So this is this is this is this is how this has to be. I have to be the pussy boy who looked it up. What do you think? He doesn't even yell anything anymore. He just shows up and ominously moves towards me with a dagger out. The jump attack. That's how you deal with those fellas. They always have a little leap at you. Ah, uh, so many. See? See? How glorious was that? Got me a system. Right, now, over here... Over here... is my feather and a ghost. So it's somewhere we need to be, unfortunately. I think that's where my feather is anyway. I can't actually remember. Probably should have uh, picked that up before quitting the game in a rage last time. Oh well. Yep, that makes things easier. There's a thing over there. I mean, there's also a thing here which we'll get to. Or maybe not, because that is a fast regening chest boy. Hmm. Let's try uh, serious business time. Try it. No, that did fuck all. Okay. Once again, despite all the points I put in endurance or stamina or whatever the fuck it's called in this game, I uh, I'm having no luck with the whole uh, running out of stamina business. Myself slightly, then go in for one of these because they don't consume stamina. Then Oh Yes, did it! Wow that took far too long. Greed. Greed. Read. Increases item drop chance by 3%. Increases an arrow that uh, creates an arrow that points towards the nearest item. Hmm. Very nice and all, but it's not much good for the whole combat situation. Like, uh, like my anti-gravity field over here. Also, I want that and I don't know how to get it. Also, I have no idea where my feather is. Did I drop? Is it below here? Could very easily be below here. Oh, wasn't there like a fucking million of these around here? Yeah, everything is suddenly. Hey, guy in blood. That was definitely worth it. I still don't even know what that shit does, I should probably look into that at some point. Yeah, I think I dropped from there. 
So my corpse will be at the bottom. I can't remember what killed me at the bottom, but something did. Probably that. That's, uh... In fact, no, we will, we will approach from this side. I am so good at this game. Oh yeah! Yeah, I feel like I dropped down here. And then dropped down somewhere else that seemed obvious, but that was death or something. Is that what happened? Oh. Maybe this is what happened. <laughs> I guess we can give this another go. Oh, are they just summoning the bloods? Are the thing she summons summoning the bloods? Is that what's happening? I put my poison. Will I indeed? Is that what I will to do? I don't know how much more failure I can handle. Failure is a measure of your persistence. But the results of failure are never final. Lest you surrender. You sound like my mother. I don't endeavor to, but she must be very wise. Right, I feel like we've not seen everything this locale has to offer just yet, so we'll have a little bit more of an explore first. I know for one thing that there's a fucking book by a, a dead man. Dead man with book, which I would very much like to uh, have a look see at. How did I end up with contagion? But were those fucking slimes in that fucking boss fight giving me contagion? Because that's not okay. I guess that's why it gave me a panacea. Panacea. Pan. Panacea. Hmm. I think there was a ghost along here, wasn't there? If there was, it followed me a really fucking long way. There it is. Fuck you, dude! <laughs> oh, death sure did take me alright. That was... That was quite the plunge. Try this again, this time without getting shocking grasped all up on the fucking... Easy peasy. And my loot! I was in your crow bloom, I think. I think we need to actually drop. After all this. 
We need to come down like on the right here. It's up from here is where we want to be. Book. See? Book. I'm not quite sure how I'm meant to achieve that. That's uh I don't know if that's going to respawn everything between here and there. I'm really hoping it doesn't, but... Yep, there it is. Okay. I prefer it when Homeward Bones don't do that, but... Can't win them all, I suppose. Go down into the right here. Did I do it? Is this where I want it to be? I'm not even sure anymore. No, this is fucking here, isn't it? I'm not good at games, I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess we needed to go a bit further. This is above the other bridge, so we need to not get killed by the big spinning blade, is what we need to do. We should finally have a solution for them, but yeah, falling right here seems pretty tricky given. Yeah, not happening apparently. Seems like a pretty decent way of getting to getting to here. I could have got here without using that feather at all. I know I'm massively wasting everyone's time right now. You don't have to tell me, but <laughs> I, uh, you know, I see shit. I want, I want shit. That's the way of video games. I'm afraid. If you were in my shoes, you'd be doing the same, and don't pretend otherwise. these sunstones but uh, such is life come on over here uh, that doesn't seem possible I don't know what I meant to do there but, uh, I will take this at least the reapers more that sounds fancy oh it's a shield it's only B toughness but while at max stamina shield rating is an S an imposing wall of black and shit. It's very cool. It's very rad. But. It also requires more strength than mine. And is only B when I'm not at max stamina. And I feel like most of my blocking is done when I'm not at max stamina. So. I mean, thanks, but no thanks. You know what I mean? Can you. Do it! I know I only have 6 and I need 32, but do it anyway. Be kind. I could upgrade my droid cranium. I don't know how much of an advantage that would give me. It's only, it's only 2, isn't it, for the first upgrades? Yeah, I could just do 3 first upgrades on pieces of my gear, I suppose. And some more stats, hopefully, out of these things. Magister shoes. I don't even know where I've been getting half the shit. I did just notice I have picked up a second hammer. So I can. And a second scythe as well, apparently. I can get rid of my shit ones of them. Cool. Right, let's. let's 
I don't know if, I, if there's any point in chanting my gear, because I might just find something way better than it pretty soon. Whereas weapons, I feel like, are pretty consistent. Ah, fuck it, we'll keep saving. I want, I want that plus five halberd, goddammit. I also want to get that book up there, but that's clearly not happening. So, once again, we'll proof out. Still something else I haven't seen as well, which I'm, I'm going to head for now. Being very careful not to get contagioned. Contagioned. There we go, got him in the end. Playing a little game of hopscotch there. It was fun. Still want to know what's down the ladder at the other end of here. I like how I got a guy with backswing. It's like I'm a bullshit boss. Would you stop? These guys are so not threatening and just a little bit annoying. I appreciate that they're trying, you know? Points for effort and all that, but... Right, yeah, here. Is this just the other end of... I have been down here. I'm just dumb. Right, I think we've fully explored this area now, which means... Next stop is the boss, I suppose. Shoit, okay. Guess we better start making some attempts. with those falling orbs is I don't know if hitting them and then back up is achieving anything for me. Okay. I seem to be having a much harder time dodging those fucking sky bullets this time. Something doesn't feel right. What doesn't feel right? Can I just do this? I can. Ah! Mastered that corpse run. Let's go then, shall we? Time limit. This actually wouldn't be that hard to find. I mean, I guess that's like saying if it weren't for Ornstein, snow wouldn't be that hard to find, but you know what I mean.
I don't like this. I don't like any of it, frankly. The Inquisitor gains a new ability. Fucking brilliant. The eye bloke broke the blood crystal, so. reach like the actual boss of the boss. Oh please stop summoning those. Wow. Okay. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Awful lot of exploding blood bullets there, I guess fighting in the middle isn't the best thing for that phase because that just means you're going to have to try and dodge both sides at once. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's not an easy fight, but perhaps not as completely undoable as I initially thought. Undoable is actually a word as well. Shut up. more haste, a bit more vitality. Looks good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video now and then you'll see the, the, the successful victory, hopefully. Assuming there will be one. I'm sure there will be one. It'll be great. I'll see you. My mother's over there.
I barely haven't spoken during this fight, but it's been pretty intense. I think we might be in with a chance here though. Not to jinx it or anything, but uh... More. Just a little bit more. Yeah! Whew. Well, that was only, uh, what, the fourth attempt or whatever it was? The, the first one after I said I was going to cut. <laughs> um, yeah, I beat her. She went down. She's actually, to be fair, she's not exactly hard. She doesn't seem to actually attack at all herself. Um... Phase 2 is probably honestly easier than Phase 1. It's just a lot of being aware of what each of her abilities do and making sure to stay on top of them. Um, yeah, I like that fight. It was a good one. Another good one. Another another well-designed boss fight. One thing the, the guys behind this game can do is make a, a good old boss fight. Let's go have a chat with my mother, shall we? Or what is probably not going to actually be my mother, but, you know, nonetheless is going to be an interesting little bit of lore. But how? We can go back home again. Soren. She's... She's dead. Uh oh. No. This can't be happening. We wanted our name to mean something. To be remembered. Death has been so grossly warped by Alduin and its inquisitors. Most of the world would have you believe it is a sin. But death is a matter of principle. Neither good nor evil. And like all children, they are legacies of their parents. A mirror into their past, to remind them what it is like to live for the sake of life. And not survival, but inevitably, the colors fade, and the world loses a little bit of magic every day you grow older. And... When the magic has faded, you know it is time to move on. Because you have done your duty. You have passed on the mantle of life to the next generation. Whimsy in their eyes and the world full of magic. She wanted our name to be remembered. I just wanted her to stay. Well, see you later, mother. What a way to go, eh? Being chained up in some weird blood acolyte sex dungeon. What kind of a son would let their mother die? Is that death? I thought he was on my side. I thought we were bros. Why is he bringing out all the guilt now? Oh, well... I mean... I'm confused. What did any of that achieve? I mean... I guess it advanced the plot, but... Oh, hang on, we can... Could we not go over here before it was through a big hole or something? Uh, huh. Um... 
I can't. I can't actually. Oh, she's gone again. It's going to be a thing now, and we're going to keep seeing visions of her. Well, I guess I'll head back to the shrine. For want of any greater knowledge of where to go next. There she is again. I wouldn't, mate. It's not a good day. Shit. Uh, so, Iona, you know how I killed your father? Well, you know, funny thing about losing parents. How are you holding up? Better. I feel a sense of clarity and purpose once more. When you are ready to storm Kershaw, I will fight by your side. And when all of this is over, I hope you'll have a happier reunion with your family than I did. Huh. Yeah. You got anything to say? Mm. Ah, yes. Uh, it seems grief consumed our muttering friend. She went up in flames, professing to be reborn from ash. Dust to the wind now. <laughs> Do I believe him? I don't know whether to believe him. Harboring a guilty conscience, are we? Don't be greedy now. I don't have much in the way of wares for you. Run along. A little bit wary of that guy. Did you see what happened to her? The Covenant Knight? No, I... I don't recall much of anything recent, actually. Lulled by sleep. It's unlike me. Hmm. And maybe it was drugged then. Here and there was obviously distracted with her own thoughts. Can have a little chat with the uh, shopkeeper. He might have seen something, I suppose. Shame as well. Oh, back for more. Nothing new, I'm afraid. Despite these lands swelling with forgotten treasures, to the west lies the Obsidian Vale, hunting ground for the nomadic Amarog. To the east lies the Bulwark, gatekeeper to the city of Aldwin. Uh, we've kind of crossed those bridges already. If you're feeling exceptionally lucky. <laughs> I wanted to know about the the dead girl. You, you, you've done it. The bulwark has been dealt with for now. <laughs> the path to Aldwin finally lies open. I knew I saw something in you, laddie. Well, while you're off adventuring, I suppose I'll fancy myself with a bit of sightseeing. Fret not. By the time you get back, I'll have a fresh stock of equipment for you. Oh, interesting. Well, fret not. By the time you get... Okay, so he has to bugger off and come back before we can get any further with his little scenario. Um, I might I might just kill him. So I don't really want to lose any more people. And he's not massively useful to me. I might just kill him. It might be a, a, a grand mislead. It might be an Nymeria killing them, for all I know. But... Uh... Okay. <sighs> Ruminate on your actions, lest you live to regret them. I live to regret nothing. <sighs> you, you were a wolf after all. 
Sorry, Bast. You call people sheep and chuckle about their deaths, then I'm probably going to do something about it. Ugh, hello again, Mother. What? My harbor upgraded! I don't know why I keep just coming and staring at people and hoping they'll they'll do it for me. That was something I wanted to try, actually. That's why I didn't spend my souls. Um, I forget. Do you sell? No, you don't. Damn. That's unfortunate. You do sell these boots, which are very, very good. They make you run slower when below max stamina, but... If you're above 20 haste, it grants hyper armor once every 40 seconds. You sound pretty fucking great. I might have to push to push to 20 haste so I can take the full effect of them. Hmm. This is a, a big investment there. Nah, fuck it. Fuck it, we're having him. Let's go, Mithril Greaves. Ooh, yeah. Light palette swap of my previous boots, but uh, quite the nice upgrade if I do say so myself. In fact, I might up, up, um, I might upgrade my my upgraded boots. They seem like something I might end up sticking with. That's not them. One more bit out of something. We'll leave it at that, though. Uh, yeah, I mentioned, I think it was in the last video now, but I got a bit sidetracked, that uh, there was some stuff back at the start of the game that I missed out on originally, and I'd quite like to go give it a look-see. See, there was one of those Golden Dragon Knight fellas who I ran into on my, my second playthrough, um, who I obviously wasn't able to kill on that playthrough because there was a little girly level one, but uh, should be able to deal with it nicely as this lad. Yeah, nice try. Is it just... yeah. Yeah, it's just here. Drop down this hole. There's a great plume on the floor there. In fact, we'll grab that book as well before we go any further. And uh, something else as well for that matter. Because up here... Oh, we already scared the lizard off. Have to use a shrine in order to get it back. Never mind, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Wait for this fella to walk down the slope. We can get up on his back and grab the book. And then... Still not particularly comfortable with fighting these, but... Should go a lot easier these days, right? My health is much. Stop. Stop being a sky dragon man. Right, too right. Surging soul. I don't know what that is, but uh, can we open this door? Rest of Gaia. Yes, we can. So what lies beyond? Right, there was a... Need Gaian Relic 1. Gaian Relic 2. 
three, four, and rather unsurprisingly, five. Oh, I don't have any of those. Pressing down on all of them and not much is happening. But uh, I guess it's good to know that this place exists. For future reference. Yeah, I really wanted to I wanted to get the gecko because that's stones, and stones are very precious to me. So while I'm here, I will once again go in a circle. For it's what I do best. King of wasting time. Excuse me. I'm back. Five stones! Booyah! Don't need a fuckload more if I'm going to achieve anything, but... Uh, there's one other thing as well. That I wanted to try. Come on. Move a bit closer, mate. There we go. Don't need a leaf, but leaves are leaves, you know, they're they're very useful. Hmm, this wasn't the way. So I suppose the next destination in mind is uh, off to com confront Endless, I suppose. I think we've, I mean, we've still not been to the tower in the sky, but that place is quite, quite scary. Um, Having to think, but I'm, I'm drawing a blank on any other areas we've not really explored properly. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll head head towards endless. Ione seemed to imply that there was good stuff happening there. Now. You got new stuff yet? You said you'd have new stuff next time I saw you, but I don't know if that's yet. I don't know if I've got to like, kill the boss for it to happen. Well, fret not. By the time you get... Yeah, you're still talking about... Uh, stuff. You're still talking about stuff. You know? About how awesome I am for killing the bulwark. Because I am pretty awesome for killing the bulwark, you know? Well, that's not working. To do this the old fashioned way. You dick. <laughs> right. Back to Ariga and her little graveyard of bullshit. The, the, the bullshit graveyard, you know? It's a happy place where everyone has. Bad times in graves. Turns out you can jump that with a horse. Turns out. I've had my eyes on you, oh. my impetuous child. Oh. You're not my mother. No, but she and I were close once upon a time. How close? She would never align herself with the likes of you. Not as the Everly you knew. But people change. Where is she? You found her, you stupid bastard. She is dead. Like all soldiers of Vados. You're surprised. Blind to the absurdity of this excursion. You cannot win. I was like you. Loyal. Nothing good ever comes from subservience. Do you know what the afterlife entails? Reliving our greatest regret. Every waking moment for eternity. Endless torment. Said the name. For moments you can never take back. That is true death. 
the hell Alduinian so fondly spoke of. You and I tasted death. But in doing so, we've been unfettered from the noose of mortality. No longer will we ever be subjected to such hell. Would you deny the same for your mother? Your father? Have a father? The families of Vados. Leave Cyrodiil. And I will return your mother to you. He's dead! Your words ring hollow, traitor. I will save her. Somehow, apparently. You will try. I mean, I suppose in what... Oh, fuck, we're straight up fighting endless. Okay. Ooh, okay, that was... How many times she doesn't have a health bar. Trying to reach me. Is all your pain worth it? She doesn't have a health bar. This doesn't seem fair. You lack the conviction to do what is necessary. I'm fucking doing what is necessary, bitch. It's not my fault you don't have a health bar. That's on you. The people of Vardos must learn the truth. Only I can free them from their pain. Will you die a pawn to whom you will free the life eternal? <laughs> well, that didn't seem very fair. You summoned death on me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, I'm not gonna lie. I... It's very nice, but why am I under the sea? Is it just because it's better down where it's wetter? Is that is that the only reason? I could have had her. I was doing some good damage to her, despite her not having a health bar. She's got a load of good hits in. You know, I think I was this close to making a health bar appear. If only she hadn't, you know, deathed at me. Ilnoth, the what was that? The corpse city? Is that, did I say the corpse city? I'm in a hand. And the hand has things in its wrist. I know you can see this as well as I can, but I just I feel the need to uh, to acknowledge that, you know. I guess we'll just slow fall down here. Can we break these sensitive-looking areas now? Uh, I guess we'll just we'll just float on down, float on down the river. Oh wow, we can jump pretty high. There's a fellow up there with an item. Can we... Oh, hello. Hello, big anchor man. Big Will Farrell. What the... F I was like, how am I meant to jump over there? And then I just remembered that thing I'd literally just been talking about and how uh, I can jump so much higher while I'm underwater. But with the next... The stairway, but we're apparently not allowed to use it. It's for it's for the cool guys only. I guess we uh, can't make it up there, can we? So I guess we just go down this hole. We, I suppose. <laughs> what a strange area! What a strange jellyfish thing! Let's go the other way. Oh, please tell me that's a shield. Please tell me it's a good shield as well. Yes. Blocks attacks on both sides. Cannot move, kick, or power you whilst blocking. That's fine. I don't care. I want to be a turtle. Ah! Right. New favourite thing. Well, I killed that. I don't know if it was a threat to me, but I killed it good. Good. 
I love it so much. Oh. oh, you broke my shield. I don't know how that's physically possible when I was literally just sat under it. Not like it was weighing heavy on my arm, you know? Oh. Can I not get up there? That look, that look reasonable to jump, but I guess not. I like this area. I can jump good, there's jellyfish, there's seaweed, everything's a bit... Well, endless is here, apparently. I Endless. Hello. I'm a little boy now. Oh, she's just a, a magic Endless, that's fine. Oh. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. I really don't. creatures. An abyssal eye. Can we get up there or something? I, I don't know what to do now. There's a flashing thing in the background. Was the Abyssal Eye a hint? I've still not never used one of them, so I don't really know what they do. Let's, let's try using one, see what happens. Oh. Oh. Well, this is very nifty. Oh, my Abyssal Eye fell down a hole. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, I have Kill Rog. Wow, what was it called the Eye of Kill Rock? Warlock spell. That was always very fun. This one's real. I found it. I found I found the real one. Can I afford to level I can afford to level up. Cool. It's 20 haste we needed, right? I'm happy to push for that. My other stats are pretty decent. We got classic zombie smashing face on thing. That's always a uh, spooky crying zombie. Oh, where, where do we go now? Where do we go now? That was my uh, Axel Rose impression. I'm quite proud of it. I'm a little bit, a little bit trapped down here. It's me and these two fellows. Oh, okay. I guess that door's gonna open now. Okay, so these are actually a threat in some way. Then I wasn't just bullying the more defenseless creature last time. Shield break there, dude. Credit where it's due and all. This guy, uh, pretty good at whipping a, a tortoise shell off a guy's back. Two. One. Zero. I want that. I want that, but it's up. And up is not a direction I'm particularly good at. Can I go this way? Right, I need to swing at some of these walls to get through them. I guess that explains a lot. I will take that. And I will kill this. Very obvious that that wasn't anything nice. There's a bit of a weird texture thing going on up there. Also, clearly the boundary of the level because the black abruptly changes colour. Just a few little things like that in this game. I've noticed just a few of them. They're just like, can you just iron that out before you release the game, you know? Just a little. Ooh. 
That sounds exciting. It was 500 health. What does my current one do? 290. That's a, a big jump up. If you use it, max health reduces damage taken. We'll go with that. I know my last one was removing minor status ailments, which was all very nice, but uh, this feels better. Oh wow, it's it's a very big one of the the blood girls' pets. Or maybe it's not very big. Maybe they were. It's just that battle was very zoomed out. Maybe they were this size. It's actually hard to remember. My brain ain't what it used to be, you know. Hmm, there's a pathway that way. Is there a pathway this way? No, but there's an abyssal eye. I'll have that. It's real. Seemed weirdly close to the last one, but I'm not going to complain. And what's at the top of this very tall ladder? Clearly a platform there, I just can't see it. I'm not sure how far these platforms extend there. No, it seems to go all the way, that's fine. When blood is reunited, a betrayal will be revealed. The more you fight, the more you will suffer. Come hither, come to Thalamus. <laughs> okay. You should retain your immortality. Only hell awaits in death. Everly is already dead. Alright, Thalamus. You cheeky cunt. Who do you think you are? You're no shadow, Link. I'm gonna say that. You're going. You can keep hitting me, but I'm completely taking these hits like a champ. Death is using you. Your actions are meaningless. The problem is, mate, you're using a greatsword. And great as those greatswords are. Ain't no how, but is it? You're just a chump. Really? This is being way more generous with save points than it or other souls likes have ever been in the past. This is fine. You go down there then, I'll be I'll be up here, not fighting you. Mm. Thanks dudes. Ah, okay. What the fucking shit? I mean, that, that confused me, I'm not going to lie. Suddenly being on the ceiling wasn't quite what I expected from that scenario. I don't know what's happening anymore. You raise your weapon against me and speak of betrayal. We see through your deception. Oh great, now I've got to fight these two for some reason. You were my friend, Vrail. We were friends. How about you, Ione? You wanna go too? You think you're hot shit? I've beaten you twice, bit. Oh fuck, you are actually kind of hot shit. Definitely more so than Vrail. Then that ain't saying much, he lost to the Bulwark. This is gonna take a while, she's pretty fucking tanky. Can't just run away, okay. Can't blame a guy for trying. You 
Tony, why are you so good? I don't really want to die, but... I mean, I died to get here, so I, I don't know what that means. I'm assuming this is just one of the death dreams, and I don't know how much those count for anything, but... might not be a death dream actually. I think this Thalamos, Thalanos, whatever the fuck he was called, is uh, sort of intersecting those and we're getting we're getting our own new set of weirdos playing with our dreams. Which means the rules are somewhat changed. With the death dreams, it didn't really seem to matter much, but with these... Yeah, I dropped a phoenix plume where I died, which was fucking somewhere, I guess. <laughs> Not quite sure where. I'm down to six now, so I've, I've left one, like, just to the left of here, and another one in a dream. Whatever, I guess we'll... Uh, try and work out how to get those back next time because it's been an hour and I'm gonna wrap up but uh, yeah more undersea adventures with the little mermaid that's that's what my new name is I'm, I'm a mermaid just because I've got legs doesn't mean anything and a penis um, and uh, until then you guys have a swell swell time I'll see you